Dear civil engineers, welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. In this lecture, I'm just going to show that how we'll define our section properties for beam, column, and slab. So let's start. And before I start, if you are new to our channel, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first. So if you see here, that is our plan. With respect to that plan, we have uh, created or that grid line. Okay. Now uh, I need four columns here. I have a defined all column section, and I need four column here, C on C two. Okay. So here and. Uh, just I have to modify that that is C3 and C4 okay so here our column section now I will define that column so I'll just go to Autodex Revit and from here I'll just come here a structure and from a structure Okay, from a structure, I'll just come here. First of all, I'll define column, so I'll click column, and from by clicking here, I will select which types of column I need. I need rectangular column, okay, uh, concrete rectangular column. So here, and also there, I have the steel W section. Okay, I'll uh, select any of it. So I need a column, and here one section of column, 12 into 18 inch that are available okay so i'll select that one right i'll select that one after that i'll click at edit type and from here concrete rectangular column you have to select that family from here so concrete rectangular column and everything is okay here for now now i'll just uh, to define i mean uh, one types of column here available okay so for other i'll just go here create duplicate and I'll give its name C. Uh, just go here C1 12 into 12. So I'll just give its name C1 bracket 12 into 12. So then click OK. After that, we have to modify from here. Okay, so here uh, one feet, I mean 12 inch, and our height, cross sectional height will be one feet. So I'll just give it zero. It's okay. And here assembly code. If you want to change that, you can change that and just go down. And here cost. I will. And if you want to give a type of component, okay, the model. So no need to change anything from here, right now. So it's okay. After that, click. Okay just see here a section c1 into 12 into 12 have been defined right so after that again click anywhere and again click here edit and from here click duplicate so what will be the duplicate on c2 c2 and what is the value of c2 12 into 15 and c3 12 into 18 so 12 into 15 then okay and here will be our uh, would be 12 and our age that is 15 I mean 1 feet 3 inch clear 1 feet 3 inch then it's okay after I simply click again okay it's done again click edit type and again duplicate then c3 C3 and another is 12 into 18 12 into 18 then okay and from here 12 and 6 inch that means I'm on fit 16 that means 18 is it's also okay then I'll click okay and finally for C3 again click edit type and from here duplicate and tag final for C4 um, to uh, 10 into 18 maybe or 10 to 18 I'll confirm that yes 10 into 18 so from here I'll just go okay 
and here I'll just give 0 0 feet and 10 inches clear 0 feet 10 inches then click ok so it's done we have defined all of our column section ok we have defined all of our column section now again I'll just do a structure I will obviously I'll double press escape to release our previous comment after that I'll just go for beam so I'll click on beam and I'll define two types of beam one for grid beam and another for floor beam okay so again I'll click here and from here I'll select one of it concrete rectangular beam so I'll click here okay and I'll click edit type so here again I'll click same way I'll give a duplicate and I'll give a name FB I mean floor beam okay or grid beam grid beam bracket 12 into I'll give grid beam 12 into 15 inch then okay so first 12 that's okay and here I'll give you one feet and I'll give you three inch three inch it's okay one feet three inch one feet and one feet three inch then uh, assembly code beaten it's okay then i'll change everything um, in later when i'll just create estimating then so i'll click ok again i'll click edit then from here i'll click duplicate then here floor beam and after the total with the floor beam 10 into 18 okay 10 into 18 then okay so here i'll just give here 0 feet and 0 feet and 10 inch and here i'll just give 6 inch okay then okay so you just see here we have also defined our floor beam and grid beam perfectly so after that double click escape okay and after that we will define our floor so i'll just click and i'll click floor structural from here i'll just go below and see here concrete okay so here actually uh, i have created that you you may not get that one so and from here just you have to find out the concrete one or generic okay so i'm just selecting that concrete six inch after that I'll click uh, sorry I'll click edit and from here I'll click duplicate and for floor I'll just take 5 inch slab 5 inch slab then ok right 5 inch slab then ok and you have to click here edit and here just you have to give five okay you have to give your five after that okay so here five inch and uh, you can change its color or anything and from here you are also able to change the value if you need to change that so i'll not change anything at this time it's five inch left then okay and i will define i will again click edit and i will click duplicate for our stair slab okay so i'll take six inch six inch stair slab then okay and i'll just give her edit and here i'll just give six inch then okay then okay so just see we have defined everything what do we need actually we have uh, defined and also same way come to structure double click actually just see uh, nothing no option is available here to use because uh, already our own option here we have defined that are available that's why actually this is active that's why we have to press skip double time i mean two times then it will be okay then a structure sorry Okay, so come here. 
sorry uh, after defining that we have to by clicking here floor boundary we have to click here finish edit mode or here cancel edit mode so i'll just click finish edit mode so here this case is empty because we do didn't do anything so what i'll do actually i mean quite yeah i'll just click that and yes okay so it's done now again if you come here floor just see here nothing is available right nothing is available cause we have deleted that clear so again i'll select that one and again i'll click edit and i have to do that work again cause i have just deleted that right so it's better when we'll uh, draw our slab then we'll define that in the same way how i have defined it will be better actually so what will do i'll cancel and i'll cancel yes okay so when it's done and same way you can define your wall say structural wall and architectural wall so if you have you have to click here structural wall and from here you have to select which types of wall you want to take right from here you have to take that so that was the way to then simply click escape okay that is the way to define our model okay that is the way to define our model and i hope you will be able to do that and uh, you know next lecture i will show you that how we will draw our be, uh, column beam and slab so thank you thank you very much just to stay connected to next video